When I'm painting my cherry blossoms, in order to make them realistic, I use a few different colors of petal dust. What I want to do is to start with a buttercup, a nice light yellow dust, and I'm gonna put a little bit onto my brush and fit my brush all the way down into the center of my cherry blossom to get a little tiny touch of color in there. Then I wanna make the edges of my blossom a nice plum color. So when I work on the edges, I just want to put my paintbrush flat against the edge and work all the way around just to give the edges a little bit of a highlight, a little bit of that plum color. I can always add more color if I want to bring that color in towards the center, I can. But we'll just go a little bit at a time. The other thing that I do is to add a little bit of green just at the base with a different brush. I add a little bit of green just on the base of my flower so it looks like it's coming off of the stem. There's a little touch of green. Now I can take my flower, my sugar flower, and just add it directly onto my cake just like this. But if I want to make it a little bit more interesting, I can create a branch of these blossoms. To do so, I'll take a very thick, long wire and a little bit of floral tape. Floral tape gets sticky when you stretch it, so make sure that you stretch it and I can start to attach my flowers to my vine. I'm just going to wrap around a little tiny bit, fold over my floral tape and press the tape to itself. Floral tape pretty much just sticks to itself and not to anything else, so make sure to stick it to itself. Then I can turn the wire and press the tape and I can add leaves and I can continue to add more little cherry blossoms, as many as I want to go all the way down the length of my wire, as many as I need to create a nice, beautiful, flowing effect onto a cake.